Welcome to this video how to migrate an Azure Analysis Data Warehouse from one tenant to another. There is already a good documentation available that describes how to migrate a data warehouse between different regions and the same approach can be used to migrate it between different tenants too. I'm here at one tenant. This is our company tenant. It has a data warehouse resource group and has a data warehouse instance here hosting one model called AdventureWorks. And the goal is to migrate this data warehouse to a different tenant. Now, the first thing to do is to create a backup. Backups are made in an Azure Blob Storage and therefore I'm going to add a new Blob Storage to this resource group. I'm going back to the resource group, create storage account and I'm choosing here the sponsorship. I'm choosing as resource group my existing resource group, the data warehouse, call it X data warehouse backup and place it in West Europe, that fits for me in this case best here and I don't need geo redundancy, local redundancy is enough and I'm going to create a storage account this takes a few seconds and when the storage account was created I'm going to add a blob container to this storage account. This account has been created. I'm clicking on go to resource and from the storage browser to the blob containers. I'm going to add a new blob container and call it backup. Now I have a storage account a storage account with an empty blob container and in the next step I'm going to configure the backup to use this blob here. So I'm going back to the resource group called Data Warehouse. In the resource group Data Warehouse now I have Analysis Services and the backup container. I'm going to Analysis Services, Backups, set it to enabled and by clicking here I can now choose my data warehouse backup and I'm selecting the backup blob container and click save. So this will be used to make the backup and the next step I'm going to open SQL Server Management Studio and I'm going to connect to the analysis services. So from the connect here, I'm choosing analysis services using the connection string and connect. Down here from databases, I have my AdventureWorks model. Right click backup. The database is called AdventureWorks. This is okay and the backup will be placed in this backup container this is fine for me don't need compression and i don't need encryption for this so now we can go back to our blob container and have a look so I'm going back to the resource group, selecting the storage account, storage browser, blob container, backup, and as you can see, here is the backup. Next, I'm going to create the shared access signature for this blob container, so it can be used from a different tenant to restore the AdventureWorks model. So from this uh, backup here, I'm going to create a shared access token and 
give it all permissions for a few hours this should be sufficient and here we have this uh, shared access signature url i'm going to copy this url because i need it now next i'm going back to the resource group and i'm going to create a template to restore it in a different tenant to do so i'm selecting my data warehouse click export template and click download let's go to the download and extract it so here i have a template json file and there are some things that need to be modified first i'm going to remove this shared access signature here and pasting this in now this is pointing to the blob container where the backup is and of course uh, the new administrator is in a different tenant so this will be my user in my private tenant i'm going to save this template and now i can switch to my own tenant here now i'm in an azure tenant that belongs to me it's a different domain it's a different tenant and i'm going to create a new resource from a template i'm selecting template deployment from my own template and click here on load file navigate to the template json so this is a modified template as you can see here is a url to the backup and this is a new administrator i am placing this in my resource group Call it here pdata warehouse reach nest west europe this is okay but i want a different server name <clears throat> this is no longer ex tv this is now your p tv if you want to create and i click the create button this will trigger the deployment of the data warehouse analysis data warehouse in my tenant this may take a few seconds The deployment is finished. I'm going to the resource, and as you can see, we have no active model here because uh, we have to restore it from the backup. This can be done by connecting to this new data warehouse using SQL Server Management Studio. So, from the connection strings, I'm going to paste this address here. into the connection for analysis services and this requires now uh, my user from the different tenant so the database node is empty but i can say restore and as you can see, this restore is pointing to the blob container from the other tenant. I'm clicking OK. And now when we refresh and expand the database node, you see we have the restored database in the different tenant and now we can proceed and delete this data warehouse in the old tenant and the data warehouse and the model has been migrated to a different tenant